Hi guys, I'm Shannon with Black Sheep House. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this rustic French finish using paints and stains. Instead of stripping a dresser, we are going to layer these um, products to create a faux wood finish. So, if you want to learn how to do this, then you're in the right spot. I'm going to show you how to. I gave this dresser a good cleaning with simple green and a scuff sand with 220 grit sandpaper. I also filled the holes that I didn't That's want to be using because I'm using a center ring pull and I just filled those with this some wood filler. We'll I'm starting out alone. by painting the entire piece with a tinted Riding primer that I got them to tint day. for me at Home Depot the, as close as they possibly could to the color canyon way. that I suggest you use as your base coat. Really any taupe color or even in a pinch, a white or a cream would work out really great as a base coat. But again, this is the tinted primer I'm using because this dresser is not real wood and I just lightly sanded it. So I wanna make sure to use a primer to help it stick. Here it is with one coat of primer and one coat of paint. It's not a perfect finish, but since I'm doing this rustic wood look, I don't care too much. So the next thing I'm using is this aged oak gel stain by Minwax. You can find it at Lowe's or online. And oddly enough, I'm using napkins. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I'm using napkins is because they actually bunch up and crinkle a lot more than like paper towels do and so I just like the effect that they have for creating that like fo those faux wood lines but you could really use um, any lint free cloth or paper towel or whatever. So you can see that I'm just wiping it on with this cheap little brush and uh, wiping away as little or as much as I feel to create that wood look. I've seen where some people have done a, like a very heavy uh, with the gel stain and created like a darker wood and even just left it at that using the gel stain to create the wood look. And I've seen some really cool stuff that people do. So don't be afraid to play around and try some things out. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? This time tomorrow we'll be on the road Riding with you in the sunnier days I wouldn't want it any other way
stain that I'm using for this finish and this is called briar smoke it's also a gel stain I'm applying it the exact same way that I did the first stain and I am using the same brush actually but I did wait in between these two layers uh, for the first stain to dry for the most part at least there might have been a few spots that were still kind of sticky but this one is an oil base as well, but like I said earlier, uh, there are lots of water-based um, glazes, that's what they're called, <laughs> glazes that you can use to create this same kind of uh, finish. And I'll just link some of those below. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? This time tomorrow we'll be on the road Riding with you in the sunnier days I wouldn't want it any other way about the stroller in this shot it is it was having a second use as my tripod <laughs> for filming of this I apply in these little dots just to kind of get it all over and then I'll work on blending it all doesn't matter too much on the application part but when it comes to uh, wiping with the napkins you'll want to do straight lines across the top as straight as possible a lot of times they can they look a little like a rainbow when people do it they're standing in front of the dresser and they're like wiping and so it looks a little rounded so make sure that you're keeping your hands straight and um, and just kind of going from one end to the other to create the most realistic wood effect Okay, I promise this is the last layer of this finish, except for a top coat if you want to do a top coat. Uh, this is the whitewash pickling stain that I use so much. I've used it in a lot of my other videos too. I heard a rumor that they don't sell it anymore. I'm not really sure, but you could use a watered down uh, white paint or white chalk paint, white latex paint, any kind of like sort of white wash type product is going to give you the similar effect. Even a white wax would do the trick. So I'll link a couple of, of things and I'll also do some research and make sure that that um, 
product is still around. And if not, I'll link a suitable replacement for you. I'm applying it the same way we've done the first two layers. Uh, it just kind of get it on there with a brush or with a paper towel and then just wiping it. I did wait in between the coats again for it to dry and it was just sitting out in my garage so that's not a big deal for me. If you're using the water-based products, they're gonna dry really fast. If you're using the oil-based like I am, then you gotta kind of wait overnight. This last product um, is actually water-based, so it'll dry pretty quick. I'm a big fan of all the Min Wax products. happy with how it turned out. I ordered some poles off Amazon. They're called ring poles and I will link those below. I did paint them black and add a little bronze for an aged look. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm a small growing channel and I love new subscribers and if you like this kind of content I will be putting out more and more and thanks again for watching. Bye!